All right, so uh, I want to show you how to take a dash pad out really quick here. And guess who's over here sleeping? Hey, Charlie. Mr. Charlie is sleeping. All right, so uh, dash pad has one here on this side. One there. You want to take the cover off under here. I'm just going to let these screws drop. I only got one hand. And one here. Underneath here, there's that screw that, that one's missing, and there's another one over in the corner. Can't get to that one, so when you want to get up under your dash here, there's another one. Come on, there. One on this side. that guy out of there okay so we got uh, the ends the two underneath uh, where the gauges sit on top you gotta take the cover off the bottom here I invested in cheap little angle drive that you can put into your uh, princess auto sells these here in Canada and maybe Harbor Freight in the States so this little angle drive is good when you get in on the door and when you go up underneath the dash here, there's one here by the inside of the vent and on the other side. So just to show you with the angle drive, I can get into those corners. One here and one right over here. So I got those other pieces off the bottom cover here. So that cover, oh, there's one more screw here. Of course, there's one more screw, one more screw. So I took the cover off. I had the four screws. So the cover's off. Now that's exposed. And we need to take the, uh, the light switch. That light switch here has to come out. Okay, so uh, to remove the light switch here, you wanna, you wanna pull it all the way out and what you're actually going to see is this on the inside. Here's another switch. And there's this little button here where my thumb is pushing. Here, where my index finger. This little button right here. You push that in. So what you're going to do is you're going to go in here with your hand. Reach around. And you're going to push on that little button with your finger. And then pull it out back around to this side of the car so you got your two upper dash got to remove your radio cover plate and then you got to take that uh, seven millimeter uh, screw out that takes out this little guy and it kind of pops out on an angle disconnect your light set it aside remove that guy and then I dropped the three screws on the bottom of the hinge just to uh, get a vertical in here so there's a screw underneath here and a screw here and a screw on the end. So what you do is you just give it a quick push it up. Just lift the dash right up. Charlie's wondering what's going on. So you just lift it up and then you pull it out of the slots in the back and pull out the other side. You want to do it evenly. I'm not doing this very carefully as this one's got a couple cracks in it. So of course, the radio will have the speaker cable connected. Where's my light? You will want to either uh, disconnect the radio, make sure that wire travels up and out with you, or disconnect it here by pulling the tab and sliding it out off of that. Don't cut your hand in there, things are sharp. And then you can just remove it. Of course, this car, the windshield has been pushed down. The seats are pushed up. So there we have it. I'll bring it up. So I'll flip it over. So looking at the dash pad on its side, you got a screw out here, the door, one of the glove box, two of the glove box, right here in the center under the console light. You got uh, two here above the speedo gauge plus and you got that sneaky one that's underneath the uh 
headlight bezel switch cover and the one on the side and it's just held in with the clip here and disconnect your radio and there's a clip back there so we want to lift it up a little bit evenly with two hands and then just pull it pull it straight out and then you have everything here exposed